Welcome back to the 330 Diesel Track Project featuring Gareth and Gareth. That never gets old. Today is the penultimate episode of the current series and we've got a lot to get through. This is just going to be a build episode and I'm going to try and reel off some things that we've got to do and then you can fill in the blanks, okay? Go for it. Engine out because we're going to be taking the turbo out, which is going to be replaced with a hybrid turbo from Turbo Dynamics. Clutch is coming out and going to be replaced with a four paddle clutch. Pressure plate and thrust bearing as well. Swell flaps, EGR delete. I would estimate between five and 20 things that we need to get to today. Anyway, before we tear Gareth's face off, we're going to quickly tell you about the four paddle clutch that we've got going in. We've got a Saks Performance clutch uh, from the car throttle shop. And the reason why we are going to be using this is because uh, Alex has decided a hybrid turbo is the way forward. And with that amount of torque being pushed through it, the original clutch is probably gonna be toast after a few laps. The reason why we've chosen sintered material above organic is it can handle higher temperatures. And as well as the torque that we can put through this is about 780 Newton meters. The transmissible torque is a lot higher, especially coupled with a pressure plate from Saks as well. And this is able to push a lot more force onto the clutch and the flywheel. The springs are a lot tougher than on the original. So when you have your pressure plate there and you have your clutch lining up there and then your flywheel sits there, there's a lot more pressure. So that transmissible torque is almost instantaneous when you release the whole system. So then, ain't nothing to it but to do it. After pulling out the lights and removing the bumper, we take a look at the radiator. Yuck! Oh, look at that, Gareth. Perfect bucket for the job. I'm going to drink it's my like, tea. It's like I, I invented buckets because I'm the bucket master. It's leaf infused. They used to call me the bucket at school. It's got, it's got hints of licorice and mint. Yeah. Do you want to try some? Bucket Kirsten, they said. Now I know what it means. <laughs> Next up, the radiator and intercooler are removed. Once the exhaust's out the way, we should have access um, to this rubber gibo, I think they call them, and that attaches the gearbox output flange to the prop shaft input flange, and then we should be able to separate that and then take off the two engine mounts and possibly good to go. Just undo it, push it, and then the engine will just, just let it flop on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Still got it. With the engine out, the gearbox is then unbolted. going to check that this fits because there's two varieties of clutch for this and this is the larger diameter one we can successfully say we bought the right one yeah then the pressure plate is removed revealing the original clutch and flywheel that looks all right that looks pretty new that's got loads of life left yeah in yeah, it. yeah that's probably why you didn't burn it out because it's yeah. new with a dual mass a little bit of play like that's fine so that's normal but this is not happy. And it looks to me like it's just worn itself out because there's bits of residue here. With the flywheel needing to be binned, we were due some good news. Uh, you know how we were worried that the swirl flaps were going to get eaten by the engine? Oh, yeah, we've got the swirl flap delete. It's been done. No. Yeah, fully. Come what? and look. I've just seen it now. So these, oh, this blanking plate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, they run all the way along? Yeah, so there'll be six of those all the way along, the old swirl flaps that used to get eaten by the engine. That's amazing. Yeah, that is really good news. Yeah. There we go. Old turbo manifold off. All that's left to do now is to strip it down, push Gareth outside and finish for day one. So it's the end of a long day now. Um, Adam from Volks Technics is currently cleaning the floor because power steering fluid is all over the floor and the manager has just rocked up. He looks 
Looks all right. This turbo is going to Turbo Dynamics to be fitted with a hybrid turbo, which you can see now. Anyway, we're going to be back later in the week, so join us there to finish the build. Bye bye. Welcome back to day two of the hybrid turbo build. The gearbox and engine are somewhere over there. The car is somewhere out there. And in Gareth's hand is the brand new hybrid turbo from Turbo Dynamics that we have. Gareth, before we begin the install, tell the guys and tell me what's changed to this turbo. I'd just like to say I couldn't actually sleep last night because I was so excited about this. <laughs> Right, so on this turbo, um, they have remade the impeller for the inlet. So that's a 62 millimeter diameter one now. Uh, that's made out of billet. And um, the previous 330D impeller was a 60? Yeah, so that's in around 60 mils we had a look at. We're trying to push more air through the turbo and into the engine at a set RPM. So the reason why that is important is because it's all good, very good getting more boost out of it. But the more boost you're just pushing through, you're just winding a higher RPM and that's how things fail. And so we wanted it to be really reliable and that's why we headed to Turbo Dynamics and got them to redo it. So uh, the housing's been re-CNC'd so that it could fit this larger diameter impeller. Um, also the exhaust on the exhaust side or the hot end side, uh, that has been clipped, um, which kind of causes a problem down at sort of lower RPM where your torque comes in, but that can be mapped out. Um, the reason why they did that is uh, you get more power in the higher sort of RPMs. And also the oil seal that they use there is an overlapping oil seal. The reason why they've used an overlapping oil seal is that there's less back pressure now uh, due to the clipping on this rear impeller and therefore there's less oil that might be pushed into the actual turbo by using an overlapped oil seal. And you've got some really cool facts, don't you? I do, I do. The rate at which <laughs> air is forced in, the speed of the impeller. One of them is the air entering and exiting the turbo is uh, supersonic when really pushed. So Gareth is now supersonic? 20,000 revolutions, so 20,000 revolutions in a minute. Yep. It moves up to 150,000 revolutions per minute in one second. That's pretty fast. That's pretty damn fast. This is a hybrid turbo, uh, mainly because this impeller is non-standard. So the next time someone says, I'm running a hybrid turbo, forget about batteries, forget about an additional supercharger. This is what they mean. Anyway, now that that's cleared up, let's begin the long day of building and reassembly. Nope. Oh, I'll leave you to it. So the reason why we're changing this is because there's a whole bunch of motion in this flywheel. It just wiggles from side to side as I squeeze it. Compared to that. It still moves a little bit, but not half as much as on the other side. So new flywheel going in now. So a handy tool is one of these alignment tools. It's a good investment because quite frankly, if you assemble this and it's not in line, pushing the gearbox back on, <laughs> it's literally impossible. You're gonna have a bad time. So you just push it through the splines and whack that onto the bearing, push it taut, and then everything's aligned nicely like that. Just getting all the grease off this, you can just use brake cleaning. While Gareth is mating the gearbox uh, to the engine, <laughs> I am gonna be taking off this old uh, gear linkage that we managed to snap while we were taking the engine out. How much did that? mistake cost you. This one part from BMW costs, round of applause please to BMW, £104. You're joking me. Well done BMW, you've outdone yourselves. With the new flywheel, four paddle clutch and pressure plate installed, the gearbox is bolted back on. Uh, so this is the old exhaust manifold. 
We're going to pop this back on in a second. But first, um, we've got an EGR blanking plate that will go over the front there because we've done a exhaust gas return delete on this engine because it is a track car, of course. We need to blank this off so no hot gases just enter the engine bay. So this is the main turbo feed, so I just wanted to get everything spotlessly clean. A whole bunch of new oil seals from Turbo Dynamics, so we'll be installing these now. Great. So Alex has uh, misplaced the bolts for the drain line to the turbo. Standard Alex. What's that? Huh? No, huh? nothing. What's standard me? Being a legend. You're really lucky. Right thread, right diameter, just random ones I found in my toolbox. Thanks, Alex. You're welcome. Oh, I drain. Oh, he's such an ass. We now need to push Gareth back and then roll him in, chuck the engine in, bolt it up, and then drive home into the sunset like Thelma and Louise. Uh, it's, it's definitely out of gear, right? Yeah. Did you, did you put yeah, it out of check, gear? Let me check. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah, we're yeah. good. Ah, oh, shit, where's the key? Actually, where is the key? Where are the keys? Did you bring them? Well, we left the key here. Did we? Didn't we? I'm sure we did. I'm pretty sure that we have the key, because the steering lock's on. I'm pretty sure. What key is this? I don't remember. The thing is, I have two BMWs, a 330 petrol and a 330 diesel. This is a key to one of them. Is it the right car? <laughs> Yes. That's lucky. Gee, I was genuinely worried. I was so worried. All right. All right, mate, let's go. Woo! Oh, hunky boy is giving me a good old push. Lovely. How much is the max on that? 250? Yeah, there's no way this way is 250 kilos. I do not know. Well, that's confidence inspiring. Anyway, let's push on and get this fat sucker in. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. The engine is now in. We've managed to slot it into the engine mounts and we just need to bolt it down chuck the lights on and then drive off into the sunset. Plus a couple of things that probably will take another time. Like minutes. Thelma and Louise? Yeah. Who are the other people? Cagney and Lacey. If you don't know who that is, kids, then don't look it up because it was a terrible show. Next, we race the car and bolt the prop shaft in place. Look how tall I am today. Why do you always have to spoil the illusion, Ethan? After that, the exhaust goes back, and then we begin the long and boring process of reassembling the front end and electrics. I'd like to thank James Sinclair for leaving this in my toolbox. So this is a big shout out on YouTube for him. Thank you. There we have it. That was genuinely the moment of truth. We haven't started the car, we're not bullshitting. Just filled up with ATF fluid, with coolant, and now we're gonna try and start Gareth up. And who knows what will happen. I'm a bit worried. We've, we've got a fire extinguisher just around the bend there. In case. Oh, we do actually, yeah. Let's fire it up, see what happens. <laughs> okay, here goes. Oh, that was so uneventful. <laughs> <laughs> 
I think that's the first time. That's yeah. awesome. Awesome. Awesome job. Yeah. All in a day. I don't think we. <laughs> Jobs are good. Well, I need to get home first and the car needs to be tuned. Right then, so now that the BMW is running, we need to take the car to BW Chip Tune to get it tuned. Right, so Gareth and I have now made it to BW Chiptune. The plan here is for the standard BMW ECU to be mapped to work in harmony with the Turbo Dynamics Hybrid. Ideally, I'm gonna be looking for around 300 horsepower and anywhere between 450 and 500 pound-foot of torque. So if we can get near those figures, then that M3 is toast. Let's find out. From what I've seen already, this car is epic. And we're, we're, I mean, we're talking a lot of torque going through those rear wheels already. I reckon we got this. Right, so we're gonna start things off on the dyno with a completely standard run. And what I mean by that is ECU is gonna be in normal factory mode. However, it's gonna be mated with the hybrid turbo. After that, after we found out how much that's making, we're then gonna go with the tuned ECU and then hopefully we're really going to see those numbers climb. So that was a completely standard run. Uh, it made 218 horsepower. So uh, what the guys are going to do now is flash the ECU, get the, uh, get the tune in there and then find out how far we can push this. I'm really excited. Right, so now the ECU has been flashed and we're going to do a dyno test now and we're going to find out how much this, uh, this hybrid turbo can make for Gareth. Let's find out. We'll call it 303. That's awesome. That's wicked. No, I like that. I like that. Now we're going to have a look at how many pound feet it does. This is a really interesting thing. Standard, this car had around 300 pound foot. 489 pound foot. That's nearly 200 pound feet more. That's a lot more than that E92 M3. <laughs> this track battle is going to be really interesting. What's more, the guys at BW Chiptune tell me there's plenty more power and torque to be unleashed. But we'll get to that when we carry on building the car for the next series on a larger and faster track. We've had a great result. Standard ECU with the hybrid turbo, we were getting 218 horsepower. Then you guys worked your magic and tell me the figures on that because they are mighty impressive. 303 BHP, you want to calculate? I'm going to round up a little bit, yeah. yeah. Uh, with 489 pounds feet of torque. Yeah. This is going to kill the M3. So 489 pound foot of torque, that's an increase of almost 200 pounds foot. So I am really, really looking forward to taking it on the track. It's going to be epic. And uh, yeah, massive thank you to uh, BW Chiptune for doing the work. Right, Dominic, this last bit is going to surprise you because we're going to do an outro together for the first ever time. Okay. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this series so far. To check out more episodes, click where, Dominic? Up here. Up, up here. here. To subscribe to Car Throttle, kick down, down there. And don't forget that everything you see on Gareth, including the hybrid turbo, you can now buy on the Car Throttle shop. Where's the link? Up here, up here, up here. Over there. We will see you next time for the final track showdown. Goodbye.